2010-2011 Minnesota Wild River. Um, this is a Eagle Collector 96. Um, he chose Mystery Pack number one. That is a case hit. No way. Maple Leaf. Holy crap. Get your mail days on. What is up YouTube? It is Wild Havla here of Game7SportsCards.ecreator.com. I am coming at you with a mail day. Now, I don't have the package. I did open it yesterday. I was really curious to see what it was. So I opened it, but I had it right here, and I'm so ready to show you guys. I'm so excited for this. But first, as you guys all know with Mail Days, I am bringing back the Wild Update. And with the start of the offseason, we have so much to talk about in such little time. First off, Wild made a new trade the other day, trading with the New Jersey Devils, sending away Max and Noro to the New Jersey Devils, in return getting David McIntyre, I think is how you pronounce his name. Now, this trade is a little... Um, iffy. Now, some guys like it, some guys hate it. I am kind of in the like section. Um, though we did give up quite a decent defenseman. Um, excuse me. <laughs> kind of more of an AHL pro in maximum row. But we do get depth at the center, and that's really the spot that we really need to work on, is depth at the forward position in general. So, maximum row, last year, scoring 10 goals and 44 assists for the AHL team of the Houston Arrows. Which they did happen to get to the, I think it's the Calder Cup uh, finals, losing in six games, uh, 42, I believe, unfortunately. But he scored 10 goals, 44 assists with that season, being a defenseman. He's very offensive skilled, very great defenseman. I predict he will have a good career. Um, maybe not quite in the NHL quite yet, but he'll get there. I think he'll, I think he'll get there. In return, we get a guy, David McIntyre, a center. Scoring 12 goals and 18 assists for his first AHL season. Um, now, with the abundance of defensemen that the Wild had, this was likely to happen. Uh, with guys like uh, Scandella, Spurgeon, Prosser, and Tyler Kama, this was bound to happen. Defenseman was going to go. Unfortunately, it was Max Nero. I feel because of his age being a little older than the other guys that he was just on the boot. Now, this trade, the reason why I like it is because it adds depth to the forward position and that's really what the Wild struggle on is forward prospects now the thing is this you know you could have a hundred million prospects and not one of them pan out to be anything but would you, wouldn't you rather have a hundred million prospects than ten you know what I mean because there's bound to be one prospect in that hundred million that's going to be a good prospect now you know who knows all these guys could be you know not NHL players they could be sticking in the AHL for you know the rest of their career but there's always that hope so, with this trade, guys, I really like it because it gives us depth at center, um, making Casey Wellman and Cody Allman an additional um, kind of fight for that last center spot on the Wild team next year. Uh, anyways, guys, the next big Wild update. Minnesota Wild have a new head coach, 37-year-old Mike Yo, um, who was the head coach of the Houston Arrows. Um, first season, actually, was last year, or I should say this recent year's, season when he took the Houston Arrows into the Calder Cup Finals. Um, this is big, guys. The youngest head coach in the NHL right now, Mike Yo, at 37 years old. So, I'm not exactly sure what Chuck Fletcher is really hoping in him, but, guys, I have to say I'm actually liking this choice. Now, we didn't get guys like Mac T, um, see, what is his name, Mac Tavares or something like that, uh, you know, an experienced head coach. We did not, you know, sign him to the job which is unfortunate but guys I'm really liking this because one Mike Yo did show success in Houston and he knows our prospects he knows our young guys this is huge because he knows who will fit in better situations with the prospects than anyone else so I really do like this we'll see how it pans out for next season and who knows you know maybe we'll actually make it to the playoffs next year there's always hope now guys to the mail day this mail day is from Den1013 aka Denny Send me a little note here, guys. It says, thanks for the trade. I threw in a few extras, which I very much appreciate. A lot of these extras go into my PCs, being my Minnesota Wild PC, one Ilya Brzezgolf, and my Minnesota Born Players PC. So, in no particular order, really, uh, we'll go, we'll save the Minnesota for last. First off, I'll bring collection of Ilya Brzezgolf. This goes into my Brzezgolf PC. Thank you very much for that. We'll go into the Minnesota Born PC. We got a... MVP rookie of Matt Hendricks, a Fleur Ultra Gold Medallion rookie of Andrew Alberts. This one's nice. I like this one. And a couple of victory rookies of Matt Niskanen, 
and met, or I should say, Mike London. So that is awesome. Thank you very much for that. Then we got a couple for the Minnesota Wild PC. We got a couple retros of Antti Miettinen and Kyle Brodziak. And then a Justin Falk Hot Rookies from Score 2010-2011. And Dunross, Max Noro, unfortunately traded to the New Jersey Devils. I hope he has a great career there, guys. I really hope he pans out. Um, just to give you kind of a kind of a look at him, he's 5'11 and 192 pounds. So he's kind of a small defenseman, but he shows offensive skills, and that's really his his trade. But guys, this was the main card I really wanted. Um, I shouldn't say really wanted, but a main card that I really want for my wild PC um, is the Rink Collection rookies, and this happens to be Matt Cassian. So this is really awesome. Um, this will be going into my wild PC. I don't have any Matt Cassian rookies at all, so this is pretty sweet. Um, but guys, the main card, the main card for the trade was this next one. I'll just tell you kind of our trade. We traded for the Josh Bailey Players Club Auto, numbered out of 15. If you remember watching it in my Be A Player Blaster Break of the best blaster I've ever broken in my life. Um, had that mojo of that Josh Bailey, numbered out of 15, auto. So that's what we traded for. In return, I get a Blake Wheeler PC card, guys freaking awesome. I love this card. 2009-2010 Fresh Threads Ice. Numbered out of 35. Jersey Auto. Blake Wheeler. So, pretty sweet card, guys. I really, really, really like this card. First Blake Wheeler card for my PC. Stoked. Absolutely stoked. So, love it, love it, love it. So, guys, thank you all for watching. Um, I will post in the link down who I'm collecting. Again, guys, if you have PM me, um, in the recent uh, couple days, I'm sorry if I don't reply right away. Um, it's just been, I've been on busy work schedule. I'm really, really trying to get back to you guys. I've been more focusing on um, updating my trade list, actually, so I can get a more updated trade list to you guys. But thank you guys for watching, and peace. Number out of 35, Jersey Auto, Blake Wheeler.